Uh, do you believe that Web 3.0 will be as big as the internet in the 90s. Yeah, I think it will be a lot bigger because the size of the market, the internet market for internet 1.0 was quite small, relatively speaking, in, in the 90s. In terms of how it's going to look like, and I've been experimenting with it for a while now. And for those of you not familiar with uh, internet 3.0, it's this concept of the next platform that matters is going to be AR or VR based. And, and the best investments in history are always platform based, meaning you own the road and you can charge the cars or the toll booths. Okay, so think about it this way. Airbnb is a platform, okay, for hotels. They don't own any hotels, but they own this platform. Same thing with Facebook. They're a platform for social media. They don't make any social media content themselves, but they own the platform. Last example is Uber. Uber obviously is a, is a taxi platform. They don't own any taxis, but they own the platform. And so when it comes to Web 3.0, the next platform that matters is probably going to be something uh, that's AR, meaning augmented reality, or virtual reality based. And we don't know what it's going to look like yet. We have no idea. I watched uh, Mark Zuckerberg's an hour or an hour and a half long uh, speech on this. And the bottom line message I got from his entire speech was, if you use Oculus, which they bought, it's going to look something like that. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, but it's, it's going to be kind of like, like World of Warcraft circa 2005 when you can walk around the world in the game and talk to people all over the world. And that's something I'm looking to incorporate in my MBA program with 3D technologies and AR. I've got a long way to go. I have no idea how it's, what it's going to look like, but it's something exciting. And I talk about it because that way it puts pressure on me in a good way to actually get it done. Yeah. And so all these big tech companies... They know that AR and VR is going to matter as a platform longer term. And so that's why Microsoft bought the HoloLens product. Um, that's also why uh, Google invested $500 million in an AR company in Florida called Magic Leap. And that's why Facebook bought Oculus. And that's why Sony um, uh, created their, their VR product, which is now just more than five years old. Uh, even Nintendo is getting into it with their, their cardboard-based Nintendo Wabo. I think they're called devices, right? Where you put a little piece of cardboard in front of the, the Switch screen with goggles. It looks like VR with Mario, whatever. It's cool. Everybody knows it's coming. Nobody knows what it's going to look like yet. And, uh, you know, the CEO and founder of, of NVIDIA has been saying, we are a meta play, meaning we're an internet 3.0 investment company because you're going to need a lot of processors or graphics chips to power this sort of thing. AMD, same thing, because they bought ATI, which is a graphics company. It used to be Canadian. Yeah.